and welcome back to my channel. Today I was thinking that I could show you guys how I curl my hair but as you know I wear my hair straight like 90% of the time but when I do curl my hair I have tips and tricks that I always like to do that I don't see many others do so I was thinking that I could show you guys so without, fur fur <laughs> without further ado let's get to it so first I'm gonna like brush out the tangles in my hair so it's completely tangle free and then I'm gonna take this clip to section off the hair and then I'm gonna flat iron this part because I love when it's not like thick in the bottom I want the voluminous on top so at the bottom I want it to be uh, pretty thin so this is why I do it. And a bonus tip for you guys is that when you curl your hair, if you have thick hair, you should really work in section. Like maybe three sections that you can clip off this hair and work on this, and then the next, and then the next. And why is that? Because if you just do it like I, I often do when I'm in a hurry and I flat iron, I do the whole section like so but then you burn just this one and this one because you want to have the the middle section also flat so I do it a couple of times to heat up the middle section so then you burn like both this ends and now I take my curling iron do you see curling iron curling wand or yeah but it has a like thing here but <laughs> The cord isn't so so long, so but I will try to show you guys. I will get a little bit closer. So you have like every YouTuber says, you like you have to towards the face. You need to like curl away from the face, and I don't want this curl uh, like like I don't want to curl like this. Um, I don't like the look of it. I want the curl to be like more inwards so I'm gonna work like like so so I'm gonna to and that is like so important so you work like this and you curl it away from the face like so and I leave a tiny bit in the end and you hold it for a bit and then you release it and it looks like this and you can like uh, hold it a bit as well till it cools down like in your hand also a bonus tip like so and then I'm just gonna keep on doing it uh. <laughs> this is way too short but yeah so and then you hold the curve And then I'm gonna take another section. I was thinking about working this side, but I will do this side first. and release and hold it till it cools down a bit and now I will take this section and I will work it from up and also leave this end here
like so. And then here I'm not so careful. Oh wait. So. So now I am done curling my whole hair. Then I take a hairspray. I use this Elinette from L'Oreal and gently like spray it in the end. And then I let this cool down for about five minutes. So I will get back to you soon. So now five minutes has gone and I will use my hands to like loosen up the curls. And now it more, it's more like beachy waves. But at the same time, not like thick in the bottom. I hate that. But if that's the look you're going for, that's totally fine. But on my like face and hair, I don't like that look. I want just the volume like on the roots here. So now it looks like this. So it's still like not straight, but it's more like beachy and it's happening something. It's more like, uh, like more uh, like live full, if you know what I mean. So now it looks like this from the back. So it's a little bit more fun than like just wear it super straight that I always <laughs> tend to do. So if you like this kind of video, you should definitely give me a thumbs up to let me know. And if you're not part of the family, please subscribe. And also let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!